Hello fellow Star Trek Fleet Commanders, Black Hafton 8 here again and in today's video we're going to get into the battle log tool created by Stewie, Do, and Lube, yes the same people who made the awesome Star Trek Fleet Command Officer tool that we have showcased on this channel time and time again at this point. We're going to show you how the new battle log tool works, so let's get into it. Very first thing you'll need to do is head over to their Discord server. The link will be in the description. You want to scroll down to this battle log tool category, head to the link to battle log channel, and click this link down here to open this up in Google Drive. Now, you will want to make a copy for your own use. You do not need to request access to the development sheet that StewieDo uses to keep this thing updated for us. Once we have that, we can go open it up in our browser. And voila, right here behind us is a brand new copy of this battle log tool. I will go ahead and show you what I have done first to make this a little bit easier to get access to your battle logs directly from your Google Drive is I have actually downloaded the Google Drive application for my desktop here. You can see when I navigate to this PC, I am on Windows 10. I do have a Google Drive, G Drive here, if I get my head out of the way. And here I have my drive. I can navigate to my Star Trek Fleet Command folder and I have created a folder called Battle Logs. Now, once I have done that, I have right clicked and copied this folder here. Then from within the game, we wanna go attempt to export some sort of log. It doesn't matter which one. So we'll grab this one from a bounty hunter we're killing over here. And it will open this folder that it will try to save all of your battle logs to. So what you want to do, you see I've done it here, is you'll want to right click and we'll want to paste shortcut into this folder like I have done here where it says battle logs dash shortcut. So now every time that I save a battle log in here and it helps to give it a name, here we'll just call it Disco Sulaban Bounty Hunter Victory. And save that and it will show up in our Google Drive here in a minute. This is not required, but it will make your life a lot easier if you do think you'll be using this tool with any kind of regularity, as will I. So now that we have that battle log available for us, we can go look at our instructions and they will tell us how to get our information into this sheet. I'll show you how to do that right now. We'll go to our import tab, click on file at the top, import. And this is where it's very important for us to have the battle logs folder already set up in here. It will already have it uploaded. If we save it locally to that Google Drive folder, it will sync for us. So now we have this Disco Sulaban Bounty Hunter Victory. So you'll want to make sure that you drop down import location to replace current sheet. Detect automatically should be fine and we will go ahead and import data. Now that we have done that, we can go to our battle summary tab and here we will get a pretty decent overview of what happened there. Let me shrink my big old head out of the way so we can see more of the information on this screen. Of course, for this particular battle log, there's not an awful lot to cover because this was just a Sulaban Bounty Hunter. We're sitting out there passively leveling our ship. So here we can see the details from my ship. I was the only one involved. We weren't in an armada with multiple players here. And if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, we can see these stats from the Suliban Bounty Hunter. Suliban. Suliban Bounty Hunter. So this would be very good if you were trying to check your mitigation and see how things were going for you to go see what that enemy is doing. For instance, if you wanted to go test some of your Borg probe crews or something in Swarm Space where those hostiles all have the same level and they will more or less do identical actions in battle, but it will give you a pretty good gauge on what's going on. And by the way, I just want to slide my head out of the way real quick so that Luke gets his credit in here as well as co-designer of this sheet. Now we'll go ahead and choose a battle log we know has a little bit more information to it. We will go to file, import again, our same battle logs folder, and we're going to use the same two logs that we used on Spock's Club when we did the Spock bug video not too long ago. So here was the first battle log that we had where we blew up when I was hosting. So we'll take that back to the battle summary screen. You see here we were defeated. I do like that this did carry over the officer information much cleaner. If you'll recall from that Spock's bug video, it was deleting some of the officers that we had in there. It was not pulling that information in correctly. Thank you, Stewie Doo, for pulling that information in a little bit more accurately for me. Now, I will say that maybe Spock's club has some sort of caveat. I did not read the instructions to make sure I was using it correctly at the time, so that could be on me. These depleted columns over here in the end, I do like quite a bit. It'll tell you at what round the shield was depleted and what round the hull was depleted. So you'll see what round you died. So this first armada that we did, Rux, of course, being our big gun, she only lasted 11 rounds until her shield fell, 19 rounds until she exploded. Now let's go ahead and pull the other log in where we whoop this thing's butt. So we go back to the import tab, file, import, same folder. Here's my second time armada that we used from that previous thing. We'll replace the current sheet, import the data. 
then we will head back to the battle summary. And you will see this up here at the top sometimes. Your battle log needs to be fixed due to a client bug on exporting. Please click the fix decimals button on the instructions sheet. So we'll head back to the instruction sheet down here at the bottom. Click on our little fix decimals script here. Let it run. We've got a little running script dialog that popped up there and it needs permission to run that I believe only the first time I have not done that yet so we'll go ahead and do that and once we have hit allow this should keep that saved for us so we don't have to go click on that again we should just be able to hit fix decimals going forward and it just does it let it run the script before you move and when it finishes running that script for you it will automatically take you to this battle summary page so don't click on anything until it finishes that or it can cause some issues now we'll see that that warning has gone away and this time much better if you'll see this time exterminator rux did not lose her shield or hole at all during that looks like gut shield fell in round five but he hung in there until round 21 thanks to his Bev Crusher, William T. Riker, Wharf crew that he was running. And because I was running Leslie Kirk Spock on my ship, my shield never depleted. I just blew up in round 14. And same thing, we can scroll all the way down to the bottom and see what that armada did to us. And we can see that we took its shield down in round 25. I say we, but I wasn't alive at this point. And it was defeated in round 55. So we went 55 rounds to defeat this thing, during which time Rex's shield never fell. Thank you, Rex, so much for running us through this. And this provides us just so much simplified data. I don't know if you guys have looked at those battle logs the way that they actually look. In fact, we'll go ahead and pull it up real quick just to show you how nasty this actually looks. So this is the actual raw CSV file that the game puts out. For my career, I have a lot of experience looking at logs, and still, this is not fun for me to go look through. As I can pretty well go ahead and skim through and get the gist of the information that I want, but this is still far inferior to this amazing battle log tool that Stewie Do and Loop have made for us. This is so much more graphically better to look at. It has all the information that you really need out of that battle log so that you can improve yourself and help your teammates improve in a nice, gentle, respectful way, hopefully. But I am very grateful to Stewie Do and Loop for creating this tool for us in the community. Make sure, again, that you go navigate to that Discord server. And on the link to Officer Tool, don't forget that there is a way to show them some monetary love for all the hard work that they do for our community. Hint, hint. <laughs> And once you've done so, you get access to this exclusive supporters only channel. I won't show you what's in there because we don't talk about what's in there. It's like Fight Club. For those of you who don't use Google Drive that often, there are other options to go ahead and get your information in here. If we come back up here to file import, you can go to this upload tab at the very end and drag a file or navigate to one that's already on your computer to go ahead and import it in here as well instead of grabbing it out of your drive as we've been doing. Now, one final note is to make sure that you go in there periodically and delete those logs out of your Google Drive so they're not junking up your drive if you know you'll never go back and use them again. And make sure that you're naming them appropriately so that you can find them later if they're an important battle log to you that you will want to reference multiple times. This tool is multilingual, by the way. So if you scroll all the way to the bottom of this first battle summary tab, you can switch your in-game language to whichever language that is. Thank you guys very much for including that in this release. And in speaking with Stewie, Do and Lube, they will probably rename this fix decimals button to fix log or something like that down the road. So keep an eye out on the instructions tab for any updates to the naming for that. If the instructions eventually say fix log or whatever they do rename this button to, just be aware that that could happen. Aside from that, my friends, that's all there is to this tool right now. Knowing Stewie, Do and Lube, I'm sure it will grow when we get all sorts of new features and things in there. And we'll probably do a follow-up video to this when the time comes. But for now, live long and prosper, my friends, and we'll catch you next time.